For this particular element, chemical and bio biological agents, let's create a kind of uh, case study here. I'm going to share with all of you. You are a chemical manufacturer, as a Sadara, mashallah. Now imagine if uh, someone is your customer in Riyadh and he purchased 100 drums of chemicals. You manufactured successfully and you call the uh, customer that the drums are ready for pickup. And the terms you settle with this customer is X factory. X factory means the moment drums are loaded on the truck or the container of the customer, your job is done. Your job is finished. You are no more responsible. Now it's your customer's uh, kind of uh, responsibility to make sure safe transportation, safe transportation of those chemicals from Daman to Riyadh, safe unloading of those chemicals at his uh, warehouse, safe internal transportation, safe stacking if it is going to be stacked on on the racks then again de-stacking then again issuing those drums to the relevant department so that is all his responsibilities your job is finished the moment the drums are loaded on container now my question is the moment you manufacture the drums and you are going to load those runs on the container. What precautions are you going to follow, actually? And even though the terms are only X factory, but until the drums are loaded safely, still you are responsible. But after that, it's the responsibility of customer. My question is, you are taking those drums from the dispatch area or maybe from your warehouse and bringing those chemicals and loading on the container. Question is, what can go wrong and what precautions or kind of safety system you are following and making sure not a single drop of chemical is falling on the ground, making sure, you know, no damage to the drums, but what kind of system you're going to follow? Over to you, please. It's a practical scenario. You are going to load 100 drums in the container of your customer, actually. <laughs> what would be your precautions? Because you are the best manufacturer, mashallah, no doubt about it. But now you are going to load and taking from the dispatch area, the 100 drums, or from the warehouse. The question is, what can go wrong? And how are you going to ensure the safe loading of 100 drums on the container? Over to you, please. I hope you understood the scenario, what I'm talking about. The terms are X factory. Once you load the drums, customer responsibility. But my question is before customer responsibility, you are going to load 100 drums on the container. How are you going to make sure not a single drop of chemical is falling on the ground, no damage at all? What type of system? How are you going to load those drums? Or what kind of safest, best practices you have? If you don't mind to elaborate here, please. It's a very critical subject, guys. Chemical and biological agents. One biohazard, the coronavirus. The whole world is in is a new normal now. Yes, please. Any one of you. Chemicals. Yes, uh, uh, just answering your question from uh, my understanding. Yeah, please. 
uh, you were asking about the process used uh, uh, before shipping the, uh, the you said the 100 uh, drum to uh, customers of, of chemicals. Mm -hmm. So normally the process goes uh, 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 from the operational side and, you know, step by step, uh, filling all those drums and, yes. and then sorting them uh, for uh, transportation by forklifts and everything. Once it's already uh, 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 organized and uh, ready to be shipped by the customer, uh, and Sadara, we have uh, one uh, practice where uh, Sadara uh, uh, seal the uh, the uh, the trucks to be shipped. Uh, this process is done uh, just to ensure that uh, everything inside uh, this truck is already uh, insured from our side at Sadara, and it's already uh, sealed from our type to ensure that there is uh, nothing can go wrong, I mean, uh, 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 during this the process. And then after that, once the uh, shipment is on the way, uh, there are uh, different standards that uh, can also be covered. And one of them is uh, since the Sadara uh, uh, product, it's still out under the responsibility until it reaches to the customer area. And then once once it's received, uh, it will be uh, on position of the uh, the customer 100%. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this is the practice we use. So we use the uh, seeding the trucks mm -hmm. to ensure that the uh, the uh, everything and and the load is already 100% insured from our side at Sadara. So I'm not sure. I hope I already and I answered your question for the scenario. Or uh, do you have different angle or different question specific? No, I, I, I truly appreciate the way you, Mashallah, mentioned uh, all for these steps. But my question was your internal transportation, like uh, bringing those uh, 100 runs from the warehouse or from the dispatch area and uh, going to load on the container of your customer. Because later on, once uh, it's all sealed up, now your customer is responsible. Like, you know, how are you going to take care of all this? But before customer, I'm talking about within Sadara, still the drums are inside Sadara and one by one, you are going to load actually on the container. So what can go wrong? How are you going to make sure the safest, best practices that not a single drop of chemical is going to be fall down and most importantly, no incident or near miss or accident are happening because of your best practices. What are those best practices? Like you mentioned, you will use forklift. So how are you going to make sure the forklift, you know, not going to damage anything actually while loading those hundred drums. So I'm talking about internal processes, external process like on the road, that is the responsibility of customer because your business terms are X factory. Once you loaded the hundred drums, your job is done. And that surely you'll be doing as per your best practices. I'm talking about from your warehouse to the container within Sadara. Yes, please. I hope you got the point. But the way you mentioned is, is brilliant, Mashallah. Those are the next steps, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I received. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, so regarding the filling of the drums, uh, uh, the process we use in some areas, uh, uh, I'm talking about liquids since we have different types of materials, but since we're talking about drums, I'm assuming liquid. We have some stations, so uh, in, in those stations, normally there is uh, uh, sensors where they can trigger if there is any leak or anything, uh, the drum inside uh, the station will, uh, will stop. It will be sealed completely. Mm -hmm. uh, until uh, the uh, yeah, the uh, the leak is identified from which area from uh, uh, yeah, any, what uh, quantity is lost and all of that and also the uh, workers in that area they are equipped with the uh, scaba and everything just to ensure uh, 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 no one is exposed uh, to any leak coming from uh, the uh, the quantity inside. So once this is done and uh, all the drums are sealed, uh, they will be measured again. So the process will be, uh, the, the, uh, the drum will be weighed before the process, before the filling and everything, and then during and then after. 
So uh, if there is everything uh, uh, is in place and it's safe already, the, uh, the weight is identical, there is no any trigger since there are sensors or anything, uh, the drums will go outside uh, to the conveyor, or it will go to the specific areas. So in that area also, uh, some of the safety measures taking, uh, there are some trenches in case there is uh, any spill or anything just to be contained in that area. Uh, forklift are organized uh, uh, and uh, they are assigned to specific dock doors. There are uh, spotters for the forklift drivers. Uh, that we have also some uh, best practices uh, for the forklifts, uh, some of them including the uh, proximity sensors, the, uh, the blue light. Uh, so once the, yeah, once the uh, forklift uh, driver or uh, the forklift operator move the uh, the uh, the filled drums inside uh, the uh, the containers or the trucks to be shipped. Uh, the process is over, so this goes uh, and through the process. This is in real quick, and if we go in depth, it's gonna take us any longer time since it's a long process. But uh, some of the measures we are taking, we are using sensors to identify in case there is any uh, leak or anything like that. And uh, some also uh, uh, engineering controls to contain any uh, spilled or any uh, anything, uh, God forbid. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, Marcella. So do you inspect the container, inside container, that because that container came from your customer, it's not your container. They hired a logistic company, you know, maybe a contractor, maybe their own property, you know, from your customer side. So do you have inspection kind of uh, system, you know, to inspect that container even before you start the loading? Yes, um, we have uh, uh, an area called truck inspection and dispatch. So in, in this in, in this area, whatever uh, truck is entering Sadara, it will go there just to be inspected and uh, checked. And this will go through any the driver and some of the uh, workers assigned over there to do the inspections. And uh, all the companies uh, sending drivers and sending trucks aware of our uh, Sadara's uh, rules and regulations and Thank receiving you. all those trucks. So once the inspection is, uh, uh, is done, you know, some of those drivers, they do not even know the, uh, the uh, uh, when they come for the first time, they do not know the, uh, the area or where to go. So uh, they are uh, normally when in that situation, some people will go and uh, just assist them uh, to, uh, to join them, uh, just to explain for them, uh, just go this way and go this way and stuff. Uh, for the next times, once they arrive to the location, they know exactly where to go and uh, uh, with their uh, trucks, uh, with, with their trucks inspected and everything is all settled. Uh, so this is, uh, and to answer your questions, yes, the trucks are inspected in a uh, specific area on the site. Excellent, Michelle. And I hope uh, the labeling requirements uh, are also being followed and uh, there is no kind of uh, faded ink on the on the printing side and also you make sure the right set of informations are well placed on the chemical as per SPS like safety data sheet and uh, like like I told you you guys are Mashallah leading by examples uh, like a role model Mashallah so I was expecting the same thing what you mentioned this is the way like your the moment the truck came inside, the incoming inspection is critically important. That there isn't any spills, there isn't any problem, no kind of chance, you know, to further contaminate or bring some more hazards along with those chemicals are going to be loaded actually. So the truck is neat and clean, no dust is there, no oil spillage before you are going to load your. So of course that inspection criteria is very deep, like you mentioned, Marshall, because you have a separate area just for uh, empty containers, inspection and all that. Brilliant, Marshall, brilliant. Now, this uh, element seven, the word chemical, 
if i if i ask to all of you how would you define what is a chemical before we go deeper as per nebose theories like if i gonna ask you know what is a chemical how would you respond to it actually 